you're really wondering is, what happened to the real gold? Money Heist has come to an end with the release of Season 5, Volume 2, but what happened at the end of the series? Started to act the moment the heist began. Money Heist, or La Casa de Papel, has finally come to an end with the release of Season 5, Volume 2. The Netflix series has exploded in popularity over the last few years, and fans have been on the edge of their seats in anticipation of the dramatic finale. Season 5, Volume 1 ended with the shock death of Tokyo, played by Ursula Kerbero, and Volume 2 raised the stakes even further. What happened at the end of Money Heist? Your uncle wrote this for you. The final episode kicks off with The Professor, played by Alvaro Mort, and the rest of the group captured, cornered, and seemingly out of options. Of course, the professor once again proves he is always one step ahead, releasing a video explaining exactly how they got the gold out of the Royal Bank of Spain. This video sends the financial markets into a frenzy, putting pressure on the government for a quick resolution. The risk of complete economic collapse gave the group all the cards, but Denver, Jamie Lorente, didn't like the hand he had been dealt. With the risk of never seeing his son again, he took matters into his own hands by considering betraying the team. Of course, Denver doesn't go through with it, wasting police time in classic fashion. Meanwhile, Marcella, Luke Piros, was heading out in the trucks as a diversion, driving the police crazy as they could never pinpoint a location. The professor and Raquel, Itzi Aratuno, were then taken and tortured by Tomeo, Fernando Keo, before the professor tried to convince him to work with them to stop the financial crisis. At the same time, Alicia Sierra, Najwa Nimri, was taking over an auction house, desperately trying to find the gold and free herself of potential prison time. The, hunt. the professor's plan was unfolding exactly as planned, with the police following the trucks to a boat, believing that the gold had been dumped at the bottom of the ocean. Of course, the search meant that the media found out the gold was no longer in the bank, commencing the financial implosion the professor foresaw. Meanwhile, Alicia's search took her to a house in the countryside, quickly getting herself embroiled in a standoff over the location. Finally, Tomeo agreed to work with the professor, setting up a press conference to inform the press exactly what was going on with the gold and heist. Just as the press conference was wrapping up, trucks arrived at the scene, revealing all the stolen gold was back, restoring Spain's economy. However, the professor reveals that the gold isn't gold at all, but brass disguised to look like the real thing. He wanted to show how the gold was just an illusion, with the economy based on nothing more than a psychological backup. Up to two trucks carrying the gold reserve of the Bank of Spain. Once Tomeo realized he had reached a checkmate with the heist, he accepted the brass, saved the economy, and faked the deaths of the entire group. With that, the group managed to get away with the biggest heist in world history. With the world now believing the group to be dead, they are free to live out the rest of their lives with the gold. Of course, their lasting legacy is the impact they had on the public, inspiring the masses to stand up to tyranny. When this story began, 